When evening comes, you say, there will be good weather because the sky is clear. And in the morning you say, there will be bad weather today because the sky is cloudy and menacing. You can discern the weather quite well. So how is it that you cannot discern the signs of the times in which you live? Do you have so little judgment? When you hear of wars, rumors of wars and seditions, don't be afraid. For these things have to happen first, but the end has not yet come. For nation will rise against nation, and government against government. There will be earthquakes in many different places. There will be plagues, famines, and rioting. There will even be great signs in the skies. All of this is the beginning of sorrows. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation. They will kill you, and you will be hated by all people for my name's sake. I tell you this so that you will not stumble. They will throw you out of the religious congregations. What's more, a time will come when people will kill you and think they are doing a service to God. And they will do all these things because they have not known either me nor my father. But I'm telling you this beforehand, so that when that time comes, you will remember that I've already told you about it. In that time, many will stumble, and many will betray one another, and will hate one another. False prophets will rise and deceive many people, and because wickedness will increase, the love that many people previously had will grow cold. Now, when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, know that its destruction has come. When you see the abomination of desolation that the prophet Daniel spoke of, standing in the holy place where it shouldn't be, then those who are in Judea must flee to the mountains. Those who are on the rooftops, don't retrieve anything from inside your house. And those who are in the fields should not return for their clothes. For these are the days of vengeance, so that everything that is written will be fulfilled. Two will be in the field, one will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding grain at the mill, one will be taken and the other left. Woe to those who are pregnant or nursing children. Yes, the days will come when they will say, Blessed are those women who are sterile, the wombs that never conceived, and the breasts that never raised children. For there will be great adversity in those days, and great anger against this people. Therefore pray that it will not be in winter when you have to flee, nor on a Sabbath. For there never was such a tribulation since the beginning of the world, and never will there be again. Now if the tree was green when they crucified me, imagine what they will do when the tree is dry. In fact, unless those days were shortened for the sake of God's chosen ones, nobody would be able to survive. Yet those days will be shortened for the sake of the ones God has chosen. But first, it is necessary that my message be spread to all the nations before this happens. Now be careful that nobody deceives you, for in the last days many will come and will use my name, saying, I am the Christ, and I am anointed, and they will deceive many people. They will also say, the time is at hand, but don't follow after them. Don't believe them when they say, the Christ is there, or the Messiah is in this place. For many false prophets, Christ and anointed ones will arise, and they will perform great signs and wonders. They will be so deceitful that if it were possible, they would deceive even my true followers. But look, I am warning you now beforehand, so that later you will believe. Pay close attention, for times will come when you will desire to see one of my days, and you will not see it. At that time, if someone says to you, look, the Christ is out in the wilderness. Don't go out in haste to look for me. Or if someone says, He's in the secret place. Don't believe them. For as the lightning shines from the east to the west, so will my coming be. Learn what the fig tree and all the trees teach you. When their branches grow full of sap and produce new leaves, you know that summer is near. In the same way, when you see all these things starting to happen, you will know that my return and the establishment of the kingdom of God is drawing close and that I will soon arrive. So when these things start to take place, pick yourselves up and lift up your heads for your redemption is very near. I tell you the truth, this generation will not pass away until all these things have been fulfilled. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not. Now after the great tribulation, great and fearful signs will appear in the heavens. 
There will be signs in the sun, in the moon and in the stars. Yes, the sun will be darkened and the moon will no longer give light. On the earth there will be great anguish and confusion among the people and a great roaring of the sea and the waves. The people will faint from fear in anticipation of the things that are to come on the earth and they will start saying to the mountains, fall on us and to the hills, cover us for the stars will fall from the sky and the powers of the heavens will be shaken and at that time the sign of my coming will appear in the sky you will see me coming above the clouds of the sky with power and great glory all the nations of the world will mourn because I will return with the glory of my father and come to repay each person according to what they have done I will send my angels with the great sound of a trumpet and they will gather all the people I have chosen from all places and they will see me seated at the right hand of the power of God returning above in the clouds. However, there's no one who knows the day nor the hour in which this will happen. Not even the angels in heaven know, only my Father. Therefore stay alert and pray always to be considered worthy to escape all these things that are to happen and to present yourselves without shame before me. Look, when I return, it will be just as it was in the days of Noah. In the days before the great flood, the people also ate and drank, they married and were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark. They didn't understand anything until the flood came and carried them all away. And so it shall be at my return. The same thing happened in the days of Lot. The people spent all their time eating and drinking, buying and selling, planting and building. But on the day that Lot left Sodom, fire and sulfur fell from the sky and destroyed them all. And it will be just like that on the day that I manifest myself. Therefore don't let your hearts be full of gluttony, drunkenness and the cares of this worldly life. Otherwise that day will come upon you suddenly, for it will come as a snare on all those who inhabit the earth. So stay alert for you don't know at what hour your Lord will return. Be like people who know that a thief will enter their home. They stay awake and don't let their house be robbed. So make sure you are prepared, for I may come at a time when you least expect me. Consider the story of the ten virgins who took lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Among them five were wise and five were foolish. Now the foolish ones took their lamps, but they didn't bring any extra oil than what they already had, while the wise ones brought extra oil with them. Because the arrival of the bridegroom was delayed, they all fell asleep. Later, at midnight, a shout was heard, Look, the bridegroom is coming! The moment to receive him has arrived! The ten ladies quickly arose and started to prepare their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us a bit of your extra oil, for our lamps have gone out. We can't give you any, said the wise ones, for there isn't enough for everyone. Go quickly to those who sell oil and buy some for yourselves. But while they were buying oil, the bridegroom arrived, and the ones that were prepared went with him to the wedding celebrations, and the door was closed. Later the other virgins arrived, and they started to cry out, Lord, Lord, let us in! But he replied to them, I tell you the truth, I don't know who you are. Therefore be like servants that wait for the return of their master after a long journey, so that when the master arrives, you are ready to receive him. Blessed are those servants who the Lord finds eager and awaiting his return, even if it is at midnight or at the rising of the sun. I tell you the truth, he will dress himself for a banquet and will invite those servants to dine with him and rising from the table, he will serve them as guests of honor. So be alert and vigilant, for you don't know the day nor the hour when I will return. Be prepared and keep your lamps lit, as servants that wait at the door, waiting for the sound of their Lord. Blessed is the servant whose master finds him doing his duty. Whoever stays faithful to the end will be saved. With patience you will protect your souls, therefore stay awake for you don't know when your Lord will return. And what I've said to you, I say to everyone, stay awake. Stay awake.